guys, in this video, I am going to show you how to build a website. A website, as everyone knows, is one of the most important, probably actually the most important thing, branding and marketing wise, for your company. It's your image online. When someone thinks about you, hears about you, gets referred to you, gets a business card from you, finds you online, that's the first thing they're going to look up. And that's the first impression usually they're going to have about you. So you really want to make sure it's a really good impression. And I've seen some pretty bad impressions online. So hopefully I'll be able to teach you how to build a website in under two weeks. It's really quick and easy if you know how to do it. Okay. So first step you're going to do, if you haven't done this already is buy a domain name, a URL, a link online. For example, David name.com. See if it's available. So you want to go to godaddy.com, G-O-D-A-D-D-Y, godaddy.com. The link is below in the description. And you want to see if the name that you're looking for is available. I recommend sticking with a .com name. Don't go crazy and get .co or .org, .net. Try to stick with a .com. Keep it as simple and short as possible. So if my name is David Baton and I am a personal injury attorney in Miami, Florida, my name might be dblaw.com. Simple, quick, easy to remember. Not David Baton personal injury attorney law firm.com. Can you imagine that email address you have to remember also? So try to get something really short and simple. No dashes, no hyphens, no weird spelling or pronunciations. People have to memorize this stuff, guys. So make it easy for them. Okay. And when you're buying that domain name, just go to Google and type in GoDaddy coupon codes. So you could find the domain name for probably one to $3 for the first year. And then it's only about 10 bucks every year to automatically renew. Once you have a name aside, you need to find a nice looking template to build your site. We're going to use a template because that's the easiest way you can build a really high, high, really good looking site very, very quickly without having any designer skills necessary. So the website we love and use a lot is called themeforest.net. The link will be at the bottom of this video. And from there, you want to look for a WordPress theme. What is WordPress? WordPress is a content management system, which basically means it's a very easy way to create your website. So when someone does build it for you, all you have to go, all you have to do is go into every page, click edit, and you could edit the page yourself, just like you were working on Microsoft Word. Really easy stuff. Okay. WordPress also comes with a built-in blog for you. So you could do that also. So themeforest.net, you're going to find your WordPress theme. Once you find your WordPress template, you need someone to build it for you. So you're going to go to another site, which is called upwork.com at the bottom of the description. The link is there as well. Step one, you have to post a job saying, Hey guys, I'm looking for a website. I want it to get done in one week. And here's what I want the website to look like. Here's my template. Here's my website. This is my description and my content and my images. And I want to pay only 250 to 300 dollars. That's all you want to pay. And you'll be surprised how many good, talented people will do it for that price. So then you're going to invite people, contractors, to come and apply and bid for the job. Then you're going to choose someone and you are going to get started on your website. Really important. Before you choose anyone, you want to look at their portfolio. You want to look at how many hours and how many jobs they've completed on the website, upwork.com. You want to look at their rating. And you also want to make sure they're going to be available for you and know how to speak your language. Okay. Um, expectations. You should expect to only pay around $300, which is pretty incredible and expect the job to be done in two weeks or less. Put a deadline on it for yourself and for them. What takes the longest time is you not getting back to them with your changes. So be on top of it and they will be on top of it. They want to get the job done as quickly as you do so they can move on to the next job and get paid, which is really cool about upwork.com. You do not have to pay them until the job is done and you're a hundred percent happy, which is very cool. So it protects both sides. Okay. Some tips I'm going to give you. There's a website questionnaire at the bottom of this video, download it, fill it out, send it to your web designer. So it will give both of you an idea of what you're looking for. There's also a step-by-step -step guide, how to build a website, which is the same thing as this video, a little bit more detailed. Um, you want to put a realistic deadline, 
What else do I want to tell you? Plan every single page that you want on your site. Make a Word document with every single page you want written with all the content that you want on every page, how you want it laid out, what images or videos you want to use on every page. Make it stupid, simple for your designer to get the job done. Also, I want you to think really hard about the flow of how and what you want people to do when they get to your site. So they come to the home page. Where do you want them to go next? Where do you want them to go third, fourth, and fifth? What pages do you want them to go to on their flow looking through your site? And build that whole you know, uh, wireframe in mind designing your site. Now, the reason I tell you that is when they come to your site, there should be a big button called a call to action. One button that's going to tell them, click here to check out my services. When they go to your services page, click here to see how much we charge, for example, and then click here to contact us. You always want to guide them along the flow, okay? At the bottom of every single page on your site, when someone scrolls down to the bottom of every page, you want to have two buttons, which is option one or option two. Option one should always be, I am ready, let's do it, sign me up, contact me, it goes to your contact page. Option two will say, I'm not ready to contact you yet, I still need some more information and take them to the next step in the flow. If you look at our website, as of today at least, this video, and you scroll to the bottom of every page, there's always a question asking you if you're ready to go, ready to sign up, yes or no, okay? And last but not least, if you have any questions or need any help, just feel free, reply back in this video, shoot us an email, we'll be more than happy to help you out and give you some advice on how to build your own website because we want you to succeed. All right guys, so good luck and uh, post some comments and links below the video with your website if you do follow these steps. I'd love to take a look and check it out and give you some pointers and feedback as well. Good luck.